With doubtnet, get instant video solutions to all your maths, physics, chemistry and biology doubts. Just click the image of the question, crop the question and get instant video solution. Download doubtnet app today. Hello friends. So let's see this question. The friction coefficient between two clocks shown in the figure is mu. Okay. But the floor is smooth. So first find the what maximum horizontal force F can be applied without disturbing the equilibrium of the system. Okay. Now let's draw a free body diagram and see what are the forces on the two blocks. Right. So the first block which is on the top, let's say it is this. Okay. Now this is first of all experiencing a force F. Right. Okay. The next force it is having is Mg which is the weight. And the last thing is N. The normal reaction from the block below and the last uh, and the next thing is T which is the tension and the next thing is the frictional force right so the frictional force is being caused by the block which is below it okay and as the f, f is in this direction the frictional force is also in the opposite direction which is this one this is Fs right now drawing the free body diagram for the next block let's say this is the block here with the mass m capital m this had small m okay now let's see the forces here so again it will have a force of tension sorry a tension force here because of the pulley it will have a normal reaction force which is n and the last will be mg there will be one more force which is the frictional force will be the which will be the opposite in this case as respect to the first block right so we have drawn the free body diagrams for all of the forces now we can move on to the equations to the first part here now as the system is in equilibrium that means the horizontal force is in equal is equal in though both directions that means f is equal to t plus f s okay now we know that Fs is equal to mu mg, right? Now in C in the second block, again the system is in equilibrium. That means horizontal forces are balanced out. So from the second block, that means that T is equal to Fs, which is equal to mu mg, right? So putting the values here, it becomes as 2 mu mg, right? So that's your first part. Okay. Now moving on to the second part here. The force here becomes as 4 mu mg. Right. Now here you can see that as the force becomes 4 mu mg, the equilibrium is not there anymore and the block will start to move. That means that the frictional force will become as Fk. Right? Fk. Similarly for this one, here also it will become Fs. Right? And the normal reaction and the weight will remain the same in the vertical direction. Okay. And equating the forces in the horizontal direction. So that will be F minus of T minus of mu mg. That will be equal to ma because there will be an acceleration in the F direction. Right. There will be an acceleration in this direction. Right. Similarly, this block will also have an acceleration in the opposite direction. So that will mean that T minus fs is equal to capital m into a right now these are the first and second equations so let's add this equation and to find out to cancel out the t basically so adding this it becomes as f minus of mu mg minus of f k sorry it will be k here f k that will be equal to capital m plus small m into a okay now fk is again mu mg so that will be f minus of 2 mu mg is equal to capital m plus small m a right now putting in the value of f which is 4 mu mg so 4 mu mg minus 2 mu mg capital m plus small m a and that will become 2 mu mg about capital M plus small m and this will be equal to the 
acceleration a and that's your answer for the b part thank you for class 6 to 12 itj and neat level trusted by more than 5 crore students download doubt and app today